what made me want to be a wrestler, never really thought that I would be one, because I, I used to just watch it on TV, and I used to watch like, the World of Sport on a Saturday afternoon, you know, watching like, Johnny Satan, Big Daddy. This business practice, you oh. honestly believe that? Oh my word, it's demonite, and let's see. What we... Eventually then stopped watching it, it's like I kind of like grew out of it, and then when I was um, in high school, and my mate was actually said that he was watching it again, and said, "Why don't you just come round?" And then he had it on on the, uh, the Sunday morning, and I, I just watched it, and it was like a blast from the past. So then, obviously, I started watching it again. Started watching the SmackDown, the Raws. Um, I actually just took that extra step to then actually doing it, which was really good. It was it's different because rather than just doing like an ordinary sport, which is like football, which is what everyone does, everyone talks about doing wrestling, it's just so different and it feels different and you know it's different. And I became a wrestler through the fact that my friend um, at the time was doing it and he'd only just started it and he said there was a place in Runcorn that was doing it called the RWA. I had to get in that atmosphere, I had to be a part of that and then I, I did. And now I've been in the business for six years now and I've never looked back. What's a gimmick? Type of character or persona? Something that sets people out on different paths, makes sure that no one's the same. Personally, I, I'm not very... I've not gone out my way to come up with how I am. I've just took my normal attitude and I've timed it by 10. Well, I'd imagine Hayden does. Well, here's the thing. You can spend the rest of this match, if you like, talking about Hayden Lussard and doing down Hayden Lussard. Or you can other people may use other things, like choose to be things that aren't them. They may choose to act differently to themselves and such, but mainly a gimmick is what will get you over and what will make you remembered by the crowd. You can go out there and put on the best match in the world, but if you give the crowd nothing to remember you for, it's pointless. Is wrestling real? Well, in the terms of that we go into the ring knowing who wins and exactly what moments are gonna happen, then wrestling is fake. Wrestling is fake in the sense that before I climb into the ring, I know if I win or lose. Before I climb into the ring, I know how the match will end. I know exactly what moves to hit at what times. But in the sense that if you don't know what you're doing and you don't learn, you don't follow your instructions, you don't practice and you don't train and you don't get the moves properly, you will get injured. It is real in the sense that if you do not know what you're doing and you think you can climb in the ring and box with the rest of us, you'll get hurt. Is wrestling real? <laughs> I am the table!